think we are. What? No. I'm worried our modem's having issues. I don't know if it's our ISP or the modem. <clears throat> Uh, double checking, double checking, double checking. Yeah, we're back. Um, yeah, I don't know where internet just completely dropped for our entire house. Um, and I reset the modem, but it took a while. I think the, it's the ISP. If we have continued issues, we'll just end the stream early. But for now, I'm hoping it's just isolated to the one time. Find out. Um, I'm going to reload, so we're back to where we were. You silly bit, what did you do with the I'm silly bit. I have my own account, which I'm always signed into on my phone, which is how I ended up notifying. <laughs> Isaac doesn't have his own account because uh, his account is what the Dilzik channel was. Or is. His account was what the Diz Dilzik channel became. He could technically make his own, but there's no point. No, we'll probably be... We'll pro I'm hoping we'll be fine. If we go down again, then we know there's issues in our area that are going on. But if we don't go down again, then I'm going to just call it a fluke. So I'll get you after all. Oh. Stop right there. Didn't expect this guy. Hey, 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 hey. Game. Really? It, ta it like, tabbed me out of the game. It, like... <sighs> Fucking hell. Really? It, like, tapped me out of the game and just wouldn't function. Ooh, Ortega. Hey. How are you? Oh my god, the camera and the load. Blocking my super power attack. So apparently, if I hold down the staff, I had to do an overhanded swing. I like how killing Ortega just solves the bandit problem. The joint twitch account is cute. Yeah, well, we decided to do it that way. There was a time where I, when we were doing together streams, where we would stream my point of view from my account, but it was so brief and it didn't make any sense that we stopped doing it very quickly. I think we did it like two or three times. Hey guys. Do you have a bed in here I can use? You have a bed I can sleep in. Oh my god. Oh my god. He has a halberd. Looks like a job for a bow and arrow. Hey. So I'll get you after all. Ow. 
Did he just shoot me in the middle of the air? Run. <laughs> Come here. I mean, they each have different various damage done to them. Can I just sleep in the bed on the left? Is there a bed over here? No bad. God damn it, the camera. Yeah, there's no bed. That's a table. There's a... Yeah. Unfortunately. I mean, if there was a bed, I totally would abuse it. <laughs> I find this funny. 20 bandits, zero beds makes sense. Look, they have bed rolls. Everyone's allowed to sleep on bed rolls except for the nameless hero. No bed rolls for him. <laughs> this is pathetic. Need another piece of meat. They're, they're all like, he must be gone. It's like doing no damage to him. So I'll get you after all. So I'll get you. Oh. Bye. <laughs> so I'll get you after all. I mean, this is this is total. They don't heal, by the way. They get reset if they get far away from the hero. Yeah, I've noticed that they. I noticed they get reset if they're too far away from me. So I'll get you after all. So I'll get you after all. Get up! He moves so fucking slow. Like, I was trying to get him to turn around, and he just did not turn. Hi, Mike. I mean, I can't say much of anything about it, so considering I'll there was issues with the all. combat system in <clears throat> Gothic 2, even. So I'll get you after all. <laughs> just... Don't worry about it, guy. Do. There we go. Don't worry about it. All right. Save a little bit. I don't know if they'll end up res resetting. Get out. Stop right there. Stop right there. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. You guys are great. I love you all. Have a stew. Wait, what's this apple for? Five life energy. <clears throat> Do apples give us strength in this one? Probably not. 
There's no dark mushrooms, so... As far as I know, there might be. <gasps> oh my god, are there dark mushrooms in this? Do you even need dark mushrooms, honestly? So I'll get you after all. Look. So I'll get you after all. So I'll get you after all. Oh. Ah! <sighs> Hi. Where are you guys going? Bye. Uh, we're having a lovely storm right now, so you're in the morning. Am I still playing Bravely Default? No, I did not beat Bravely Default. Can't beat Bravely Default that easily. Bravely Default's being done off and on at different times and different days. Um, Gothic 3 is kind of in my mode for today. <laughs> But I will be moving on to Zelda. God damn it. There will be more Bravely Default. I'll probably be playing it tomorrow. Stop it. Hey. I'm kind of surprised I took him down. Rice and a loot. Yay. Uh, dum, 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 dum. Come here. I know I'm just whittling them down, but I kind of think that's so the I'll only thing I'm going to be able to all. do at the moment, honestly. <sighs> oh, God. Why am I doing this? Jump, 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 jump. Oh, nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Nope. There's so many of them still back there. You know what would make this easier? If I actually just forked over the money for some armor. Like, I might want the mage armor, but honestly, I just kind of need some armor. Oh, god damn it. I keep on, like, it keeps on clicking me out of the game. <laughs> There's still a light bandit over there. Get the free armor? What's the free armor? So I'll get you after all. I don't know where this free armor. Excuse me. Stop it. Ow. Stop it. Oh. Oh. Really? I'm just hitting him in the foot. Oh, the free armor spoilers? Yeah, don't do it then. I'm, I'm a little sad for these guys, and at the same time, I'm aware this is an exploit, and I said I wasn't going to be doing this much. But there's so many of them. Stop it. So I'll get you after all. Hold on. <laughs> no, I don't want to know where the free armor is. Not if it's a spoiler. Bandit, arrow. Got it. Got it. There's so many of them still. When I finally find it, it'll be useless, probably. Well, I've already seen where I can buy some that I can wear. Come on, just eat that. Oh. <laughs> Shoot. 
Give me that. Hey, how are you? <laughs> yeah, but even if it's not a story spoiler, like, sitting there and telling where everything's located in the world kind of defeats the purpose of actually exploring. Um, because I didn't have people telling me willy-nilly where things were until I asked for it. So, at the moment, I would say hold off on it. Like, I'm not worried about finding armor, because I know that I will find it. I know I can buy it. I know where I can get it right now. Excuse me. Done right here. Okay. You know, people coming into chat making comments like, if this was Gothic 2, I'd watch, but 3 is trash, by Like, it doesn't necessarily make me want to stop playing the game. It makes me a little sad. And it's, it's, he's not the first one to say it, and it's annoying. It's, it's really, it's, it's rude. It's really rude, I will say that. I try my best, in general, to be as neutral and positive to people that come into chat, but coming into the chat and just sitting there and saying things like that, it's just absolutely, utterly rude. Inversely, it would make you want to play it even more. Well, I want to experience it. I want to know, because I'm very, very curious about it. Yeah, it's definitely janky compared to 2. But I can also see, like, where they improved with Risen 1. Because honestly, my my impressions of Risen 1 just playing it on my own a little bit, jeez, right ah, has not been all that great. But I have a m more renewed viewpoint on it because of this one. And the fact that you have to keep in mind, this is after they fixed it. Fixed, quote unquote. Like coming to Skyrim streaming, just saying that if this is a gothic stream, I'd watch, but Skyrim is trash by you. <laughs> so by you. Yeah, it's basically is. I know I'm I'm very much aware that there were certain people that only stopped by just because I was playing gothic. Like I'm aware that there's a gothic crowd. I'm aware that the gothic crowd can be a little intense with their viewpoints of gothic. I'm aware that the gothic crowd can also be very, very, very opinionated when it comes to gothic three. Um, and that's fine. You're allowed to be opinionated, and you're allowed to not uh, to uh, not like this game in particular. And I don't necessarily disagree with it. Um, I don't think it's trash. I just don't think it like it like holds a candle really to Gothic Two. <laughs> Gothic Two really feels like it was their quintessential, like it was the best of, best of their Gothic <sighs> games. This guy is gonna kill me. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm in a bad spot. I'm gonna reload that. Risen 1 at least has reliable combat system. Gothic 1 to 3 has not. I feel like Gothic 1 and 2's combat system was okay. I don't think it was the greatest combat system for its time period, but but for its time period, I think its uh, combat system was really good. Gothic 3, however... Why can I anal like look at this spit? Hold on. Are you kidding me? Hey, now that I killed all your guys, I'm going to finish cooking your meat for you. Um, Gothic 3's combat... Oh! Gothic 3's combat system is... Uh, I'm to think of it. I didn't check down here for the rest of his Cradle Hill. Um, Gothic 3's combat system is... It doesn't have impact, if that makes sense. Hitting someone doesn't feel like I'm actively hitting. It doesn't feel like I'm connecting and I'm doing a follow through with the attack. It kind of feels like I'm flailing at air and it determines that I must have hit, therefore hit points come off of the enemy. I don't really see the enemy react as much as they should. I mean, honestly, that's a criticism for a lot of different games, but I mean, I mean, I, I've seen that there's a mod for Skyrim that fixes Skyrim so that the enemies have more of a reaction as well. So it's not saying that there aren't games that are considered good that don't have that problem, but this one definitely does. Whoa. 
You know what I haven't done since there is extra attacks for holding down block and attacking? I haven't done it with the bow. Um So I'll get you after all. Because there is none. I just tried it. <laughs> oh, really? And I got stuck right there. Hey guys. Yeah, you can, and the thing with this one, just because of how it's built, you can exploit jumping. Because the enemies don't jump, and they don't really react Stop right there. to you jumping. So if you jump, you kind of sort of jump over their attacks. It's funny, though. Oh. I mean, it uses your stamina, but the stamina system I don't think is overly well implemented in this either. Oh. Oh. That seems to be doing my best, but I think it's using the most stamina. Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh. Whoa. There. Stop it. Whoa. My God. Ah. Hey. <laughs> hey, I got Stu. Taking gods is such a trash. It's fun to play for a while, but just because it's so cringe. I couldn't even bring myself to get that one when I ended up hearing what it was. So I never touched it and I don't know anything about it. I kind of want to look it up on YouTube. Just to see what it's like. I don't know how bad it's supposed to be. Embrace the spin to win. I like spin to win with the staff, honestly. Oh, hey. That's locked. <clears throat> how did I not get that before? Was it because it was too close to this wall? Broken. Really? Ring of Endurance. Summon animals. Fog. Amnesia. Forget all of the hero's crimes. <gasps> Take it. How many lockpicks do I have left? Twelve. A few of the Forsaken Gods quest lines are even better than in Gothic 3. That's funny. After you play the currently hyped Gothic 2 mod, you see why they made that game. Because the fans made a mod with the same quality level. Oh no. Well, I mean, the fans... I will say that certain aspects of what I've seen of what the fans have done have not been bad. So I'll get you after all. <sighs> Execution is something to be desired a lot of times. <laughs> that worked. Hey, spin to win. <laughs> oh, there's another bandit there. Arrows and wild berries, bow. Did I kill them all finally? Oh my god, finally. This took forever. Legend of Austin. 150 fetch quests which make you run from one end of the huge game world to the other and back again and so on. Uh, I mean, I see why people end up doing fetch quests, especially when you're doing a fan base thing, is because you're trying to 250 gold. You're trying to make something that uses the game and the world of the game engine, and honestly, it's probably the easiest type to program in while being able to have a story. It doesn't make it compelling. Um, how much of the lamp oil did I have, anyways? Five? Five. No. Three. Shit. Where's the rest of it? Metal chest. Metal chest. Right there. Four? Oh, no, that's five. I have five. Metal chest. I can't pick the locks of the metal chests. I have to learn better lock picking skills. Honestly, I'm gonna kinda wanna learn the lock pick, aren't I? 
just to be able to open those chests because I'm gonna go bat shit nuts if I can't open those. And th they're everywhere. Shop assistant fought off arm robber with his labeling of what? Felix are now looking for a man with a price on his head. God damn it, Solid. <laughs> they even put in a mega monster who's like a lurker with a thousand hit points. What? Ew. I mean, do they at least rename the lurker? I'm fine if you want to put in a stronger version of a monster. Who cares? Whatever. It's it's not much better than like JRPGs that do recolors. <laughs> you know, like Final Fantasy. Like, old, especially older Final Fantasy, it's all like, you've been fighting goblins, but these goblins have green cap or have purple caps, and they're stronger as a result. <laughs> Alright. Let's go find this guy. He was on the road. I vaguely remember where he is. <clears throat> He's over here somewhere. I think I just follow this road. It's either this road or it's on the other side of this hill. It might be on the other side, actually. Bodhi's in here. He's like bread loafing on, uh, he's right over there. He's over here. The one thing with the content mod, like I said, that I kind of have been thinking of doing is there is a way to increase the view distance. They did that in the content mod. I'm wondering if I can install... No, you can't. There's certain options to install certain things. I was wondering if you could just install the view distance, but I don't think you can. Watch streams of this mod. Not a single player plays it without massive cheats or cheesing because you cannot play it with a melee fighter. Oh. Ow. That's for the Gothic 2 one, right? Returning as a Russian mod and the devs just stole all the mod contents from all mods before and put them in the game world so it doesn't make any sense at all like a paladin fortress right inside Onar's farm. What? <laughs> Here's your lamp oil. Here's your lamp oil back. Really? Thank you, stranger. I will always remember your kindness. Thieving Take plus one. As a reward for your selfless deed. I will immediately head for Ardea before they steal my oil once again. Yeah, they're gonna steal your gold, your oil again. Ortega, the boss of the bandits, is dead. Is he really? Now that's good news for a change. The orcs are bad enough already. Why do we have to have bandits too? Show me, Show your, me goods. your goods. Yeah, so he gives another two hundred and fifty experience. What does he sell? Meat bug rag out, which I think I already have, anyways. <clears throat> All right. We're gonna sell him the swords, the rusty sword, the cudgels, bow, bow. What does my bow do? Missile damage for my bow's better. Uh, the quarrel, the crossbow, the barbed cudgel. Here, do you want some halberds? How about some shields and a ring of endurance? I don't desperately need. Cause I think I can only wear two rings. You know what? Let's hold on to it, and just in case, just to find out. I'm pretty sure I'm correct on that. Sell a shovel, sell one loot. Have some drugs, man. Have a ladle. <laughs> Have a silver goblet and a casket. Look at that, 1,688. Give me that. You know what? Gold balance. Woodcutter's axe? Quarrels? Eh, eh, eh. I mean, the antidote. Yeah, but it's 200 per. Alright. And you're honest, spinning the only good total conversion for Gothic 2 in English language is Velia, where you play one of the Gomez slave girls after the hero left Karenis. That sounds actually kind of interesting. If it's done well. So Ardea Montera is that way, and so is. Apparently, it's just Montera. <laughs> just Montera. There's two signs here. Look, they're both Montera. Are you kidding me? You literally have two signs. <sighs> that would be Montera. I mean, I said I wanted to go to another location. Wildberry. Magic Root. 
All right. Since we're going to be walking and traveling, we are going to have these wild berries on number seven. <laughs> and we're going to be eating them while we walk. Just going to be eating handfuls of wild berries. Oh. Hey. Stop it. Stop it. Handfuls of wild berries. Oh, God. You just shove an entire plant in your face. <laughs> uh, really? What? What's around here? What wants to die? Oh, it's a goblin. It's a cowardly goblin. He's not very cowardly if it... Oh, God. Look, all I'm saying is that cowardly goblin is beating my ass. Hey, I just... Ah, uh, The game just bugged out again. Did I know that swimming is possible in the game? I figured if it was available in 1 and 2 that it was going to be in this one. I figured they would at least add it in. It's not possible in, ri in Risen, though. Really? This is where I saved? I was just thinking that. Which, I, which, by the way, I thought was really weird. Because in Risen, you're a stowaway on a boat. You would think your character would know how to swim if he was willing to get on a boat. But you can't swim. You just fall in the water and god damn my mouse. All right. My mouse is uh, not bound within the game. I've got to restart it. Um, yeah, in Risen 1, you actually are in a... I love how you can see my, my desktop there. It's great. <laughs> Risen 1, the, the your character's on a boat. He's a stowaway. Um, you would think he would know something about swimming to want to get anywhere near a boat, especially in the middle of the ocean, being a stowaway. And he doesn't, apparently, because he just drowns. He actually... Game didn't load. There's a mouse fix. If it's the, I think it's the mouse fix that I have. It's um, not a fix fix, but I think it's because of what I did when we went offline. So reloading the game will should fix it. Yeah. My, uh... When I lost internet, I had to unbind my mouse from the game, and I didn't restart the game. It kept my mouse unbound, and so certain clicks were still activating outside of the window. It brought up my window settings at one point. Because that's where I was clicking, apparently. Snake, get over here. Get over here. game doesn't take out kindly adult tapping. No, I know. A lot of older games don't. Um, that's why I usually just pause it when I have to, like, go get more coffee or something instead of, like, putting up a BRB screen. What's here? Oh. Ow!
I just got killed by a cowardly goblin. Bodhi. I am aware that I need to switch soon. Goblins, seriously. Morning Dew. Morning Dew must... Hold on. I know you can make potions with Morning Dew, but... Yeah, 5 mana. 5% mana. Oh, shit. Really? Is there a bed in here? So I'm a little worried. I'm eating a, a chicken wrap on the side that I made for lunch that isn't brought up. It's really good. <laughs> I made it this morning. Carrots have to be used for recipes. 1% health? I can't believe that it's there for no other reason. Alright. Stew. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, I figured I was on that one. I wouldn't be surprised if they're part of this, what you need for a stew, honestly. Considering carrot stew. I, s I can see what their pattern is. I should know. They seem to be like swing, 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 and then they take a brief pause. I should know that and work with it. I mean, at least that's what it seems like. There's probably no pattern. Roast meat bug. Which I could turn into beast bug, meat bug rag out. <gasps> they have a bed! You stupid goblins. Stupid goblins having a bed. That just means I'm going to be able to sleep. At sleep spell. I like how the sleep spell is just someone on their side. No, I write they have a pattern. Hey, Parker Bunny. <laughs> oh, look, another shovel. I have so many shovels. I keep on selling some that of the shovels. Anything. Yes, not, not during a battle. Oh. I see him. I see him. Come here. Cowardly Goblins of the Night? That was a quest? What? Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll take a quest. <laughs> like, from who? Cave looks creepy. I mean... It's not that bad. Thankfully. God damn it, all the metal chests. I'm not gonna get anything better if I don't learn how to pick locks for metal chests. Where's Diego when I need him? love the art design. It's decent. Uh, the art design's pretty decent. I like the way that the caves do look. Um, 
there is some stuff that I definitely like about some of their designs in this one. I know a lot of people were complained about the look of the nameless hero because he looks different from what he did. Honestly, he's just missing his ponytail. I don't really care. Um, yeah, he looks different. It's a little awkward, but at the same time, who cares? I mean, other than the diehard fans. I do like, I see, and the funny thing is the redesign from the content mod for the hero, which I know not everyone has seen, but those who have seen it, I like it and I don't like it. I like some of the redesign aspects of him. I don't necessarily like the way the goatee looks on him in the redesign. Hi. Rebels. I need a little refreshment. Stop right there. Not a step further. I'm your friend. Calm down. I'm not out to get you. By Enos. I almost took you for one of those wretched orc mercenaries. What? Tell me about the area here. You were in the wilderness here. No cities anywhere. That mountain range to the north separates the coastal region from the Midlands. Keep following the path to the west, and you'll eventually get to Montera. Provided the bandits don't cut your throat first, that is. Aren't you afraid the orcs might get you? Orcs are careless and noisy when they roam the woods. I can hear them half a mile away. The only plague that is getting to me is those horrible goblins. Mm. You are more afraid of goblins than of orcs? Scared? I am not scared at all. The goblins will creep around the camp at night and steal everything I've got. There must be a whole nest of those cowardly goblins somewhere close by. I finished off those cowardly goblins. And the bastards didn't skin you alive? I'll be. You've got what it takes, my friend. This is certainly worth a hundred gold coins. <laughs> Interested in a little trade? Depends on what you have, really. Show me your goods. <laughs> Battle boat is all hunting stuff. Here, buy those. I have, like, nothing interesting. Have a shovel, have a ladle. What are these? You can see something in it if held up to life. Light. Scavenger eggs. Gothic 1 and Gothic 2 is that everyone will slice your throat for 5 gold and Gothic 3 everyone's like, please take my money. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know if you heard, but... So I just finished the uh, chicken wrap that I had made that Isaac brought up. And it was wrapped in foil. And I just balled up the foil. Bodhi is sitting on top of the folding table nearby. And his eyes Not are like really that. big. <sighs> staring at... Uh, <clears throat> staring at the folding table. Or he's staring at the foil. Because he really wants the foil ball right now, and I'm not giving it to him. Let me get this, thank you. Hey, Noogies. I'm doing pretty good. I'm really, really, really tired today. Um, thanks to Bodhi meowing to keep me awake. Um, I'm supposed to be swapping over to Zelda soonish, but... I'm enjoying this right now, and because I'm really tired, I'm sort of going with the flow. You showed you him. Than me. Um, how much do I have? I have 20 learning points, 26,800. I'm almost ready to level again. Jeez. Here, you're tired, but you got kind of lazy. I guess you could say you're kind of droopy. Victim Bodhi. He's not a victim. So he sat in the corner of the room again this morning. 
like 5 a.m. just meowing. The thing was, I thought he was in the hallway because I couldn't hear him. So he wasn't yowling at the top of his lungs. He was just meowing um, <laughs> slightly, just slightly loud enough just to w annoy us awake. I'm, I'm dead. What? Talk about the body? Yeah, I know. I will swap her games shortly. I'm being a little stubborn because I had a few rude individuals that popped in the chat. Wow, you're playing Gothic 3? Gothic 1 and Gothic 2 were good. 3 is trash. I'm leaving. It doesn't play as well. It's not as good. It does look prettier. It's, um... I need to, honestly, I need to grind a little bit more on the side of the screen noises. I do love when your character dies. Sorry, I had to deal with those people. I've had to deal with them since I started playing it yesterday. I'm aware that there's uh, less of a lack of people who want to actually see this one. Um, which probably means I'm probably not going to play it all the way through. Um, because I do try to keep mindful of what people do want to see. It doesn't mean I'm going to just give up on it immediately. It means I'm probably going to play it as much as I want to. But I'll probably, if I swap it out, I'll probably swap it for Risen. Um, I would do say that Risen's story is better done. This one, again, I'll point out with my story. <laughs> Where is it in here? Uh, find Zardis. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? What does that mean? Where? I'm gonna go find him. <laughs> like, <laughs> just... Find Zardis, thanks. <laughs> I do think that the, the like the visuals on the, the world is really neat. Um not gonna lie, I'm I'm really looking forward to playing Risen, so I probably will swap it out for Risen sooner rather than later. I think what my plan is gonna be is I'm gonna continue playing Gothic 3 at least through the rest of this week. And then next week, I'll probably swap it over to Risen. Um, because, yeah. With this casual gamer who hasn't even found Sardis yet. Come here. Hey, that worked. Thank you. I just, my other problem is that, this, the screen, the screen lag, that really takes me out of the element with this game. Like, I don't even know if I want to finish playing it throughout the week, honestly. Like, that element alone just really kills my desire to play the game. And I really hate that. Spin to win. Look at them still on fire. I like the fact that they're still on fire after you use fireball. No poor animal. <laughs> they're scavengers. They would have killed us. They just don't squawk like chickens anymore. Honestly, I don't know why I open these chests half the time instead of just doing it. <clears throat> I will say that there's enough stuff hidden around the world that it makes you want to continue to explore the world. They do a good enough job with that in the game. That's one of the biggest issues within open world games is not having enough to explore. Potion against disease. Poor bread. Bunnies! <clears throat> yes. <laughs> I picked up their meat. Where the hell am I going? None of this looks okay. Oh, hey. I am really annoyed at this goblin right now. No way that blood trail is OSHA compliant. 
It's all goblins. <laughs> and they're still kicking my ass. I really should just go and buy some armor. All right. I think it's time we uh we move on.